Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent here with the Technology Concierge. So today I'm going to follow up the installation tutorial video that we did uh, for Windows 10 and I'm going to talk about some of the privacy settings in uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft's Win uh, Windows 10. Now, before I get into that, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the type of data that Microsoft can collect uh, with Windows 10. So that data includes names and contacts, credentials, uh, login information, um, that's what it means by credentials. You've also got uh, interests, favorites that you might pick, um, usage data, contacts, relationships, location data, content that you've got on the, on the computer. Um, and, and other things. Now, you may wonder, well, why is Microsoft collecting this data? Some of it is, is in fact, for customer support and, and for product activation, um, as well as improvement and also for security reasons. That being said, um, a lot of people don't necessarily want Microsoft to collect that data. And if you don't want Microsoft to collect that data, there are ways that you can turn off some of those features. Uh, one of the programs that I went over in our previous video was O and O Shut Up 10, which seems to be missing. Oh, that's the config file. All right, let's see, where did we put that program? So the program that I went over with last time, downloads, there it is was OOSU10, or O and O shut up, right? So we hit yes, and this opens this up. And, and what this, uh, this were changes made since the last time it was used. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit apply all recommended settings again, and okay. <clears throat> now this turns off uh, a lot of your different uh, tracking features and also some of the background program usage that I mentioned in the previous video. Um, we're not really gonna focus too much on that, uh, for now, we are going to actually focus on accessing the control panel and going into our security settings inside of the control panel. So the first thing that we need to do, do is go to the bottom left of our screen and right click on our start icon and not click right, not left click, right click. And then we go over to settings right here and it opens up this nice window here for us. And we've got system, devices, phone, network, personalization, apps, accounts, time, and language, what we want, and if we scroll down here, we also go all the way down, we have privacy. So let's go ahead and click on privacy. So these are some of your basic privacy features, right? Uh, so one of the first things that you see, the, the key takeaway is that if you adjust your privacy settings, it's going to uh, turn off certain features. So let's just start with the general information here, right? So notice that let apps use advertising ID. We turned that off during our initial installation. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off uh, and show me suggested content in the settings app. Now you can leave this on if you want, but suggested content does take a look at what you search and what you're looking for and tries to show you relevant information. I don't like that, so I'm going to turn that off. These are just general privacy settings. Uh, let Windows track app launches to improve start and search results. This I highly recommend turning, turning off. Um, there's no real reason to, if you need to track um, or have something inside of your start menu, uh, you can actually go, if we go back out to our main screen, you can right click uh, and note you have an option to pin to taskbar or pin to start. If you click pin to start, it's going to show up in your start menu as it is right there. If you click pin to taskbar, notice it shows up at the bottom of the screen here as a convenient option to hit open. And then we can open the uh, program from there. So we're going to go ahead. And, yes, we're going to hit use as, as default browser. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and change my default browser because you know I want to. And we're going to go back, back. Okay, we're back in privacy settings. You don't necessarily have to change your default browser, uh, but as I said, I do recommend using a different browser other than Microsoft Edge. I like Firefox. So if we go down here into speech settings, online speech recognition is also turned off. This is basically stuff that was done with this program, this app, and also when we installed Windows initially. So most of this we don't have to do. Inking is off, diagnostics and feedback. This is basic. Um, so some of this is hidden or managed by organization. What, what that actually is, is, is this. 
right? This is, is turning off those features manually for us. Otherwise, we'd have access. Uh, and then if you notice, all of this is basically turned off. And activity history. Now, this is one thing that I do recommend. I don't want it to store activity history, so I'm going to turn off store activity history on this device. And if you want to keep the activity history, that's fine, but you can also just consequently turn off sending it to Microsoft. That keeps Microsoft from seeing your activity history, but lets you use the feature so that you can keep tracks, uh, track of certain tasks. Um, app permissions, uh, location, so if you notice all of that's off, camera, allow apps to access your camera. I'm going to turn that off because I don't use any of these apps. Microphone. This you might want to have on uh, if you're doing any kind of Skype call. So if you do have Skype, you're going to want to let it access your microphone. Otherwise, what, what's the point of a Skype call? Um, apps to use voice activation. I'm going to turn that off. Notifications. Allow apps to access notifications. I don't want my apps seeing my notifications, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, these are already all off under account info. Again, this is what we did. Um, which apps can access account info. Now, when, when you actually install a uh, mail application, this will change, right? Uh, because it has to, because otherwise you can't get your mail. Um, content, allow apps to access content. Now, it's okay to, you can, you're going to need to let mail and calendar access contents if you have any kind of mail or calendar apps. Uh, if you're using Microsoft Outlook, those permissions will automatically install themselves when you install Outlook. So there are things that you can leave on. Uh, like the calendar and contacts. Phone calls, um, I don't need that, so I'm going to turn that off. Call history, don't need that. Email, we need tasks. Uh, I don't want that either. Uh, basically, people using the device would be able to choose if their apps have access to uh, tasks by using the settings. And you don't really need that. Allow apps to read or send messages. Um, it's already off as it is. Uh, this is for SMS stuff. So you don't, again, don't necessarily need it. Radios to control radios. We don't want that. We don't need that, rather. If you're using it for corporate purposes, some of this stuff you're going to have turned on. Some of this stuff you'll need. Communicate with unpaired devices. No. Uh, use trusted devices is one thing. Uh, and that you can set up in individual apps. You don't have to do that through this screen. Um, but unpaired apps is basically any app that isn't paired that you could then, you know, attach to. Other devices. Let apps run in the background. Turn this off. Why? Because when you hit the X button, you don't need your apps running in the background unless you absolutely want it to. I want my apps to turn off so that they don't eat up system processes and run up my, uh, my system. So off. Apps and Diagnostics, that's already taken care of. Automatic file downloads, this is for OneDrive. If you have Microsoft OneDrive installed, you can allow this or not or, or disallow it. I use Microsoft OneDrive, I think it's a fantastic tool. It's a great place to store documents. You even now have an option and feature of encrypting that for more security, which is really nice. You can also you know, create BitLocker uh, systems and, and actually encrypt your hard drive with BitLocker, which I do uh, on my personal machine. I highly recommend that. Um, we can do a video about that too. That's great for, for security. Uh, allow apps to access your documents library. I don't want it to access my documents library. Now, if you're Microsoft Office, a little bit. So I'm going to turn that off. Pictures, allow apps to access picture library. This if, if you want to do anything with, with these apps, you can leave that on. Again, I don't use this stuff. Uh, I have a computer where I have all of my photos, and that's where they stay. Uh, my personal computer, my work computer, don't have my personal photos on them. It's only stuff related to business. Uh, so videos, again, video libraries, allow apps to access video library. Go ahead and turn that off. Again, if you want it, you can leave these on. This is just stuff that I like to do. Uh, because I want my system as absolutely private as I can make it. So I pretty much turn off all of these features. Uh, now, which apps can access file system? Office, you might, uh, might want to keep this on. So that's something that you want. Uh, all right, folks, so that's 
that's your general privacy settings in Windows 10. Uh, it goes through you know what each of those systems does. And uh, I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you have specific questions or comments or would like me to go more in depth on anything else in the video uh, that we just went over, that's uh, perfectly fine. Just drop a comment and I'd be happy to do that for you. Your big takeaway from this should be Windows has a lot of built-in features that allow apps and other programs to access information, uh, either proprietary or confidential, to you specifically, meaning personal contacts, data, content that you save on the device, um, and, and uh, things in that nature. So big takeaway is accessing these features and turning some of these features off or leaving some of them on is going to make a break uh, just how private your system is. Now, there are reasons that you would have those things turned on. There are reasons you would have them turned off. Um, as I've said before, I like turning them off. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and please stay tuned for even more content. Thanks for watching, guys.